Here's what we learned so far in pediatrics about nutrition. This was a, a study, and again, most pediatric studies tend to be uh, smaller. That's a limitation we understand and we live with. However, this study randomized patients to receive either exclusive enteral nutrition for at least six weeks, uh, and that was with a, with a polymeric formula, um, and uh, had patients receive corticosteroids for induction in the second group. And what we saw is very comparable clinical improvement, very high remission rates here. What we also saw is that when you use nutrition versus steroids, there was a big difference in terms of growth failure. When you use steroids, one out of four patients remained in growth failure. When you use steroids, as we know, you set the stage up for steroid dependence. And if you happen to move on to a TNF antibody after your induction, you actually had a better response if you had your induction done with internal nutrition. So perhaps steroid had a negative effect on the course of IBD. Nevertheless, resection rates were similar. So EEN, or exclusive internal nutrition, does have its own limitations. 